So I've been meaning to make a quick video talking about the fuse boxes in the Rivian Gen 1. This doesn't apply to Gen 2 as they switched to smart fuses. Uh, but in Gen 1, you have two 12-volt fuse panels. Uh, one's underneath the driver footwell. The other one's in the passenger footwell. They come from what was originally two 12-volt batteries in the front of the car and distribute 12-volt uh, power to all around the truck. Um, not just to talk about them, but to just show you how to tap those fuses if you want to run accessories. Um, like I always have lots of things going on <laughs> in, in my car. It's nice to, you know, hide the wiring and go straight to the fuse panel, but also for the later trucks where they removed a bunch of the 12 volt plugs. To access these, they're really way up under there, not very easy to get to. You might be able to get to the panel uh, underneath slightly um, by just ripping it off below. But to do it properly on the driver's side, you have to pull the panel on the inside of the dashboard of the door. Um, once you do that, it releases two pins that let you uh, pull down on the knee panel. Uh, once you pull the knee panel down, there's one more screw exposed that will um, finally release that very bottommost plastic panel. There are uh, knee airbags down there or shin airbags. Um, you can leave them in place. Um, you can actually get it work around them. And um, once I'm in this area, this is a great place to run wires. I get wires all the way up to my A-pillar uh, for my camera and radar detector, for example. Um, but uh, I'll show you how to tap the fuse box there. Uh, the passenger side is similar, maybe a little bit easier. Um, it's underneath. There's just two screws that release that panel down there to get to that fuse box. As far as the fuses go, unfortunately, the manual doesn't really describe them. I don't think they want anyone going in there, even though they're regular 12-volt fuses. I'll link to this post uh, in the Rivian forums, as well as a post on Reddit, um, that have screenshots of the panels and what each of the fuses are for. So that's a great reference. Uh, also, check the description below. Uh, I'm going to leave... Um, suggested fuse locations to tap as well as um, some unused ones tap in the future the downside of all this is for some reason these are not standard fuses they're italian mta fuses as far as getting a simple add a fuse that you can just plug in i have not found one for these mtas uh, there's three different sizes in here um, i think they're the, the mini the maxi and the maxi compact the m8 um, but i have not found easy add a fuse uh, for these uh, if, if you find any, please leave some in the comments. And again, I'll update the description with links to any products that we know of. Um, actually, what I did is I experimented. I was trying to jam in regular standard fuse sizes into some of these. Um, I really wanted to use the, the larger size. There's a couple unused blanks of those that were perfect, uh, both switched and unswitched. Um, but unfortunately, even though I cut away some of the plastic, um the the thickness of the the feet of the fuse still it won't hold on to them so unfortunately i had no choice but to use the smaller fuse sizes the add a fuse for that actually works perfectly so that just gives you a different list of fuses you definitely have to tap there's no spares um so again that's all down below so as you can see i tapped one of the mini fuses on the driver's side that powers my radar detector and camera and a few things uh, that one is switched. There's some switched and some unswitched. I'll leave a few suggestions down in the, in the description, as well as some for the passenger side. Uh, of course, you can go back to the forums or Reddit for the full um, layout. Um, but that's it. Just a quick video I've been meaning to make for a while. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or any comments below. Thanks.